Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. This video will demonstrate configuring how long Control M agent keeps its prologs file and difference between log keep days and sys keep days settings. As part of the new day procedure, agent cleans the prolog files according to the log keep days parameter, that is, days to retain log files. To check the current setting, run Control and Configuration Manager, select an agent and go to System Parameters and type LO in name column to see the log keep days with new value of 2. Any change for this value will automatically activate at next new day time. The log keep days settings is kept in Agent Registry for Windows and it will be in config.dat file for units. With log keep days values of 2, the plot log files are kept for 2 days only. Agent also has this to retain output files setting found under output tabs of agent's property in Control M Configuration Manager GUI and its new value is 2. The fourth value is none, that means nothing is defined in agent side and we get from server side. With the default value, no syskip day settings will be found in agent configuration. But once a value is set in agent, it will be found in registry for Windows and config.dat file for units. Its value specifies how many days job outputs and associated files will be kept at agent side. At new day time, Control M server will send system parameter setting called output RETN value to all agents as syskip days value. The agent will use syskip days setting either from server or agent, whichever is greater, to clean up the job outputs and associated files. In this demo, three days of output files are kept at agent machine based on server side syskip day setting that is greater than agent side setting. In summary, these are the differences between log keep days and syskip day settings. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you.